In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a login screen for your app. So here's my app. I have this login screen with one picture, so I'm going to replace it with a login module. You should find it under the tools section. If it's not here, you can click on the plus button, find the login element, and install it. So now you just drag and drop it here. It will replace the image. And now we can configure the element. So first, in order for the login module to work, we need a Firebase account because we are going to use the authentication backend from Firebase. Well, Firebase is a tool provided by Google and it is free. So here you can click to add a new project. You can enable Google Analytics in case you want to use it but it's not really important for the login. Now we should go to the authentication section, go to sign in method, and now we are going to enable the email and password method. Then we should go to project settings and we need to copy this web API key. Go back to Moving Cube and place that key here. Now we should keep configuring our screen. In the config tab we should decide what the app should do after logging in. So let me open my screens panel and I have these two other screens. I have I have the good login screen and the good sign up screen. You could do it only with one screen, but I want to show you that depending on if the user is creating an account or just using an existing account, you can redirect the user to a different screen. So I'm going back to the login screen, to the config tab, and here you have to set which screen should the user go to if the login is correct. With this checkbox, you can decide if you are going to allow the user to create an account from the app. If you don't want the users to create an account, you can create accounts on Firebase. Just go to authentic authentication and from here, you can add users. Then you should send them the username and the password. Here, we can set the, which screen should the user go in case he just created a new account. Okay. And here, you can set the name of the variables in case you want to use the username, the user ID, or the email in other parts of the app using Moving Cubes protocol. Then from the other tabs, you can change colors, text, and any other styling for your login screen. For example, we can change sizes, we can change colors for the buttons, and some other things. And by the way, 
you, if you have a login screen in your app, you might need a logout screen. So we are going to add a new screen, set the name to logout, for example. And here we are going to drag and drop the logout add-on. It is not here, so we are going to find it. Basically, we just need to set the background color because in the logout screen, the app is going, going to stay only for some milliseconds. So you should set the des destination screen after logging out. So we are going to the login screen, for example. And that's it. This is the way you should create a login screen on Movin Cube.